there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes around the world. Welcome to my channel and thank you for passing by. If it's the first time, tell me if you like what you hear or if you have comments about what I've got to say. Any input is valuable and I do value your comments and other people, my subscribers, will love to interact with you. So don't be, don't be shy. Say your thoughts, and if you think I've got it wrong, please let me know. Um, for my existing subscribers, thank you for your input. Thank you for your comments. Um, thank you for your suggestions. And so what are we talking about today? We're talking about how the Home Office now has to award a victim of human trafficking £25,000 for getting it wrong. How many things do they have to get wrong in order to put things right? I just don't know. In this particular case, a Polish gentleman came to the UK in 2016. I don't know how many of you know how human trafficking works, but it is about people in a particular country, especially Eastern Europe, uh, but they can come from anywhere of, in the world. But the, they say the majority come from that part, Romania, Poland and that part of the world, Lithuania. And what was happening is that they were being um, told that they had a job in the UK, that they would find accommodation for them if they came over with them. Now, these people, both male and female, young and old, would come over and they would then be put in some house or some room or some caravan and they would be made to go to either meat markets or any kind of job construction and when they came back and they were looking for money they would be told that because they brought them over here they had to pay them back. Now this wasn't told to them before in the majority of cases. What they would do is they would hold on to their passports. As soon as they arrive in the country, they'll say, we'll keep your passports for safekeeping. And um, any little money they had, they said they'd hold it until they got a bank account, but it was a trick. What invariably happened was these victims of human trafficking would be vulnerable, would become vulnerable. They would then have to do anything their exploiters told them to do. And a lot of times it meant sexual exploitation. It meant stealing. It could mean anything, working for nothing. It's, it's, they call it modern slavery. I did a conference on it, I think in about 2014. I've put the link below because um, I recorded it in one of my magazines. So you can have a look at that. But this gentleman um, who's being awarded the 25,000K, he was a victim of human trafficking. Apparently they had taken away his passport. They had forced him to steal and shoplift and he got caught and he was detained. Now the government have a moral obligation to victims of human trafficking and they're supposed to protect them and keep them safe and especially when they're traumatized and a lot of them are because they've been tricked they've been abused and all that kind of stuff and what's happened now is that the this particular gentleman they can't name him but this particular gentleman was found to be on the national referring referral mechanism the national referral mechanism is the UK framework that it uses to identify people who are victims of human trafficking. And if they're on that system, that technically means they should be treated with care. But oh no, the immigration and enforcement get hold of him and treat him like he's a criminal and he is detained and goodness knows what else happened to him. Fortunately, he had solicitors, and like in a lot of cases, if you don't have solicitors, you don't stand a chance in hell. But he had solicitors who intervened, and they pursued his case, and now the Home Office have to pay him £25,000. Um, is £25,000 enough? I guess it will put him on a good footing for now. But it is such a shame. We know that from the Windrush scandal in April 2018, how many hundreds of um, Windrush um, citizens were 
wrongfully detained, 60 of them wrongfully deported, some of them died. So we know the consequences of people being wrongfully detained and what it does to them. And these detention centres are no picnic. They are not nice places to be in. And the fact that you don't know when you're coming out plays havoc on your mind. So I'm glad there's a positive outcome with this gentleman. Um, I don't think I have anything else to report. I think that's all. Hope you found it interesting. Bye-bye.